What's up everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I want to go over all the notable similarities and differences between the all new 2024 Toyota Land Cruiser 1958 trim versus the Land Cruiser trim. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get started with the similarities between the 1958 and Land Cruiser trims. Both the Land Cruiser 1958 and Land Cruiser come standard with the 2.4 liter turbocharged four cylinder iForce Max hybrid. The engine produces 326 net horsepower and 465 pound feet of torque. The only transmission available is the eight speed automatic transmission. Both trims get 22 miles per gallon in the city and 25 miles per gallon on the highway. All Land Cruiser trims are full-time four-wheel drive with rear and center locking differentials. And both trims have Toyota Safety Sense 3.0. Both the 1958 and Land Cruiser trims have front skid plate with engine, transmission, and transfer case protection. Both have front and rear tow hooks. Both have black Toyota Heritage grille. On the inside of both trims, they have a seating capacity of five. Hopefully Toyota can introduce a third row option in the future for those looking for that capability. They both have heated seats and heated steering wheel. Both have power door locks with shift link auto lock and unlock. And both have auto dimming mirror with home link receiver. Both trims will have six USB ports and three zone climate control. The main mechanical difference between the 1958 and Land Cruiser trim is that the Land Cruiser trim has stabilizer, disconnect, and multi-terrain select. The 1958 trim does not have these systems. The most obvious exterior difference between the two trims are the headlights. The 1958 trim has circular LED headlights and the Land Cruiser trim has a rectangular LED headlights. Both are reminiscent of Land Cruiser models of the past. The Land Cruiser trim has rigid industries color selectable LED fog lights and the 1958 does not. The 1958 trim has 18 inch dark gray alloy wheels wrapped in 245-70 R18 tires. The Land Cruiser trim has 18 inch alloy wheels wrapped in 265-70 R18 tires and is available to equip 20 inch alloy wheels wrapped in 265-60 R20 tires. The Land Cruiser has roof rails and the 1958 does not. The Land Cruiser trim also has digital key capability and the 1958 does not. The Land Cruiser trim is available in more colors than the 1958 trim. In addition to black, ice cap, meteor shower, the Land Cruiser trim has underground, trail dust, heritage blue, and wind chill pearl. On the inside, the 1958 trim has a 8 inch multimedia display with wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto capability. The Land Cruiser trim has a 12.3 inch multimedia display. The 1958 trim has black cloth seats and the Land Cruiser trim has Softex trim seats or available leather seats in Java or black. The Land Cruiser trim has multi-terrain monitor and the 1958 trim does not. The 1958 trim has a manual tilt and telescopic steering wheel whereas the Land Cruiser trim has a power tilt and telescopic steering wheel. The Land Cruiser is available to equip power moonroof, 
and the 1958 is not. The Land Cruiser trim has ventilated front seats and the 1958 does not. The Land Cruiser has optional wireless charging and the 1958 does not. The Land Cruiser has driver seat memory function and the 1958 trim does not. And the Land Cruiser trim has an optional cool box, 14 speaker gable audio, heads up display, and the 1958 trim does not. The Land Cruiser 1958 and Land Cruiser trim have a large price difference. The starting MSRP before destination fee on the 1958 trim is 55950 and the Land Cruiser trim starts at 61950 A fully loaded Land Cruiser trim with the premium package, 20-inch wheels, and windshield pearl paint comes in at $69,610 including delivery. This makes the 1958 trim price of 57345 including delivery fee, look like a bargain. There is no doubt that both these Land Cruiser trims are very cool and offer a lot for the money. If you're looking for a Land Cruiser that is more similar to Land Cruisers of the past and are not interested in the extra creature comforts, the 1958 trim is your best bet. But if you do want those extra creature comforts like the genuine leather, larger display, extra off-road systems, and cooler color options, the Land Cruiser trim is a better choice. I would personally aim for the Land Cruiser trim as I like the rectangular headlights slightly more than the round headlights. I would also opt for the Heritage Blue Paint and Java Soft Text Trim seats. I would skip on the 20s and Premium Package because I don't see value in those personally. This would bring the price to $63,695, including delivery. But regardless what path you guys choose, whether you guys go for the 1958 trim or the Land Cruiser trim, just know that you're going to be behind the wheel of Toyota's ultimate off-road SUV, the Toyota Land Cruiser. If you guys found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys for watching. It's been Moral Productions and we're out. Peace.